What's going on everybody out in YouTube land and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we're opening up the March Mario's Mystery Block. So what exactly is Mario's Mystery Block? Well, it's a monthly subscription service that delivers Nintendo themed items to your house once a month. I know it has Mario in the title, but that's not necessarily the case. There could be boxes that are based off Mario. There's been boxes in the past that were based off Mario. But you're going to get basically any kind of Nintendo franchise that you can think of in this box. You know, they've had uh, Yoshi boxes, Luigi boxes, Animal Crossing boxes. Uh, we've had Metroid stuff. So basically, if you're a fan of Nintendo stuff, retro or modern, this could be the box for you. Mario's Mystery Block is like that $25 to $30 price point. Can't remember off the top of my head. But I'll insert some in the video so you guys can see how much this box costs. So I guess without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and let's cut the tape and let's see what we got in the Mario's Mystery Block this month. It came in this very uh, generic box. I don't really know what the deal is with that. You guys know what the box typically looks like. I almost didn't even know what this was when it came in. But yeah, let's cut the tape and let's see what we got in the March uh, Mario's Mystery Block. Get our trusty box cutter here. Let's cut away from ourselves for safety purposes. All right, so I'll try to show you guys most of the stuff first like usual, if that's applicable. Um, so we'll pop this open. All right, right off the top, it looks like we have our card in here. So we'll take a look at this. So we are celebrating uh, Mario Day, which is March 10th, if you guys didn't know that. So that's what the front of the card looks like. And the back of the card says, un lock the mystery block it's basically uh giving you like hashtag mario mystery block if you're filming the video or if you're taking pictures you know to hashtag it or whatnot so that's what the back of the card looks like right there you guys can pause that stuff if you want to read that all right so i guess let's go ahead and let's get into this it's a little bit different than usual because of the shape of the box all right, so right off the bat, feels like we've got a bag of some sort. So let's open this up. This looks like basically like one of those reusable grocery bags, or I mean, you could basically tote anything in this. And it's a Nintendo Switch bag, so that's really cool. For those of you who don't know, I'm a huge Nintendo Switch fan, so this is absolutely awesome. Um, it's got a clasp on the top that you can like close. And I guess it prevents stuff from falling out. But yeah, you can tote literally anything in this. It looks like it's a pretty good quality bag. It could hold a lot of weight. Um, I know a lot of people, like I said, use these for groceries. But man, if you were going for on a sleepover or a beach trip or, you know, trip to the park. I mean, you could tote just about anything in this bag. So that is cool. Neat way to start the uh, box. Usually don't get Nintendo themed bags in a lot of boxes, so that is pretty cool. So let's reach in here and let's see what else we have. Alright, this is big. Oh cool, we've got a blanket. So this is like, you know, one of those, uh, I don't know, fleece blankets I guess you could call it. And it's based off of Super Mario Bros. I'm not going to open this up, but I might take a picture of it and show you guys in the video. But it's basically like the Mario cartridge design. So that is absolutely amazing. I love Super Mario Bros. Um, what I believe to be my favorite game of all time. Revolutionized gaming. Kind of saved gaming. You could go down a long rabbit hole with that. But yeah, this is a BioWorld product. So you know it's quality. And I love fleece blankets. You can't have too many of these laying around the house. Uh, so yeah, definitely super cool and an awesome item to pull out of this box. Alright, so next up, we've got this. Uh, it's a journal. So it's basically like a notebook. It's a hardcover journal at least, so there's that. Um, it's red and blue uh, Mario themed. So I mean, that's pretty cool. The last thing I need is more journals and notebooks, but, you know, at least it's video game themed, so I could probably find something to do with this. I do like the design. Once again, this is officially licensed uh, BioWorld product, so it's definitely quality. You know, hardback book. So, yeah, I mean, not my most exciting 
possibility of pulling out of this box, but still a cool little item. Alright, and it's Nintendo themed, so I like it. Alright, so we might have the last thing in the box, guys, so let's go ahead and pull this out. We have a pair of Mario sunglasses. Um, I think it was like sometime last year, one of these boxes I got, I think it was the, uh, like the Luigi's Mansion box that they had. I think that was around Halloween. We got a pair of the, uh, Luigi sunglasses. So now I have the Mario ones too. And it's even got a Mario mustache on there. So that's really cool. Um, I'm obviously not really going to wear these, uh, but it will make a cool addition to my uh, Nintendo slash Mario collection. And, you know, it's different. It's cool to pull out of the box. It's pretty silly. This would be something that you would want to give somebody as almost like a gag gift almost. But it's definitely cool. And it's officially licensed, so that's awesome. It's one size fits most for those of you out there looking to wear these. But yeah, so we got some Mario sunglasses here. Not bad. I actually really like that. So that's it, nothing else in the box. And that is our March Mario Mystery Block. So this box was pretty Mario themed, but I think that had to do with the uh, Celebrate uh, Mario Day, March 10th, uh, which I have no problem with it. I absolutely love Mario. And I'm sure most of you guys do too that are watching this video. So I guess without f uh, further ado, let's do some pricing and recap and let's see what kind of value we got compared to what we paid out for this box. That's one of the way I always uh, rate these boxes. So we'll start with sunglasses since they're in my hand. We'll give this 10 bucks. I really don't know how much they're worth. Journal, let's do eight. So we're at 18. Blanket gets 20. So 20 and 18 is what, 38? And let's give the bag, I don't know, $7. So what, that takes us up to about $45 in total value. We pay about $30 a month for this box. So this box got great extra value. That's definitely um, a positive and a check off on the way I grade these boxes. The next way I grade these boxes is do I like the stuff that, I, that they sent me? Obviously this is a Nintendo themed box so I'm always going to like the stuff they send me. So this box easily gets an A grade for me. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this box. Did you like the stuff they sent? Do you feel like this stuff was worth about $25 to $30? Um, what was your favorite thing that they sent me? I would love to have a little conversation with you guys about the Mario's Mystery Block. But guys, that's probably going to do it for this video. But first, I want to say thank you so very much for tuning in to this episode of GBA. If you haven't, please like, comment, subscribe. It would help me out tremendously. If you guys know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. I'm always looking to grow the channel a little bit. But for now, guys, I think I'm going to go open up some more boxes, maybe play some video games. Try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.